guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome, as you can see, I'm in a new place. Uh, we actually decided to come down and visit my in-laws in North Carolina. So we're quarantining here with them, which is awesome. Um, good change of scenery for us. And it's, um, you know, providing them some enter much needed entertainment. So it's been nice uh, and just a good change of pace for everybody in my family to get away. So hopefully uh, you can hear me okay and this setup works well. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about our thoughts and kind of the unconscious biases that we have and the power that we have to change those thoughts. So as we're moving on our mat today, um, I'm gonna just talk to you a little bit more about that. Um, as we get started, go ahead and lay down on your backs, start to get comfortable and relaxed, and just tune in to your body and your mind and your breath. Tune out whatever else is going on around you. There's a lot going on outside right now. Hopefully it's not distracting. So I'm trying to focus on you guys. Hopefully you can do the same. So settle in, relax, feel supported and comfortable on your mat. And just start to notice the thoughts that are popping into your head and notice the power you have to push them away. Notice the power you have to recognize that thought and say maybe to yourself, no, that's not the way that I wanna think. Maybe there's some, some thoughts that have been ingrained into your head that you don't like anymore. And you know what, you don't have to have them anymore. When they come in, just push them out and just know that you are not your thoughts. Just because you have a thought does not mean that that thought defines you, that that makes you a certain type of person. You have that power, you're empowered to change that perspective, to push them away, to have a new dialogue. So as you lay down, just take a few deep breaths, big inhales, Slow, deep exhales. Breathe in, fill up. Breathe out, let it go. Just follow your breath. Letting those thoughts float away. Big inhales. Slow and steady exhales. A few more. Feeling that connection to your mat, to your body, to your mind. Inhale, reach up overhead, full body stretch. And then start to bring those knees in towards your chest. Squeeze them in. Rock side to side. And then come over onto your left side. Your arm can reach out long. You can always put your head into your hand as a little pillow. Pull your right knee into your chest, rotate that ankle around. And then exhale, send it out long. So maybe that bottom knee is bent to provide some stability. That top leg is, heel is reaching toward the end of your mat. On your inhale, lift the leg and just lower it down. Inhale to lift, exhale lower. So keep going back and forth. I guess up and down is the right term. You can kind of give yourself some resistance here. You can press that heel toward the back. Just let that hip do its job, lifting and lowering. We've got two more. One more. All right, and then just swing that leg out, keeping it extended out in front of you. And then we're gonna lift and lower. Kind of lead with the heel here, so let the toes sort of point down a little bit. We'll just do five here, this is hard. So hitting that outer hip, hitting some muscles we don't always get into. One more, lift it up. Exhale, lower it down, let it rest on the ground. 
And then if you're propped up, go ahead and lower down to the mat. Open your right arm out to a T, left arm out to a T, coming into a twist. And of course, you can always have a bend in that top knee. Just do what feels right in your body. Maybe your gaze goes over your right shoulder. Relax in. One more inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Bring that right knee into the chest, squeeze. Send it long and just roll over to your belly. So arms, hands come out to the sides, tending your fingers. They probably are gonna come off your mats. So bend the elbows, tent the fingertips. Inhale, lift the chest, keeping those toes down on the mat. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up, and then drop the right shoulder down. Look over the left shoulder. Inhale to center. Left shoulder lowers, look over the right shoulder. Back to center. So just go back and forth. So right shoulder taps down, lift to center. Left shoulder taps down, lift to center. We'll go a few more times, each direction. Using that core to really lift up at the center. All right, come back to center, lift high, lower down. One more time, lift, lower down. And then go ahead and roll over to your right side. I'm gonna switch around just so I'm talking to you guys. So come on to your right side. Again, you can cradle your head, bend those knees. Left knee comes into the chest, squeeze it in, rotate the ankle and then send it out long, flexing through the foot, lift and lower. Lift it up, lower it down. I know we're going a little old school here, right? Feels kind of like jazzercise, or not jazzercise, but uh, sweating it out, sweating to the oldies. Lift and lower. But this is so good for you, so good for our hips. All right, this time, Bring it out so it's out in front of you. And then leading with the heel, lift up, lower down, up and down. Two more, lift it, lower. Last one, squeeze it up, let it fall down to the ground, resting there. Again, you can bend that knee or keep it out straight. Lower the head down, open the arms to a T. Look over your left shoulder. One more inhale, exhale, come back to your side. Hug that knee in tight, send it long, rolling over to your back, full body stretch. And then bring those knees into the chest, squeeze them in, rock side to side. And then rock forward, just a few rocks here. Just coming up to a seated position when you're ready. I'm gonna face you guys. So come to a seat. Inhale, reach high. Hands come down in front of you. Interlace those fingers. Press your hands out. Inhale, bring them up. Exhale, bring it down to behind your head, pulling those elbows apart. And then press it back up. Lean to the right. Feeling that side body stretch. Inhale to center. Lean left. Inhale to center. Bring those palms, hands back down, palms out. Pull it back to your chest. We're gonna do that again. So press out, pull it up, press it down, push back up. Side bend right. Inhale to center, side bend left back through center. We'll do it one more time. So again, you guys can have your own resistance, kind of create whatever you want with this. So pull it in, press it out, lift it up behind your head, press back high, lean right, inhale to center, lean left, back to center, release the hands, bring them down to your knees, lean back on yourself. So cat back, chin to chest, inhale, rock forward, lift the chest, look up, exhale, tuck it in, curl, inhale, lift, 
exhale tuck inhale to that cow back come to neutral rock forward coming into your tabletop so wrists under shoulders knees under your hips you're gonna kick stand out your left foot so just let it kick out left hand plants that right foot inside of your right foot dials down onto the mat right arm reaches up high so supported side plank here lift those fingertips high and then reach up and over so forearm comes down by your ear making this big rainbow shape it feels so good in my hip all the way from my toes to my fingertips so lifting those hips up pressing your left palm into the mat just breathe here inhale that right arm reaches high maybe you look up open up right hand comes down to the mat bring that left leg back underneath you lift the right heel up and then once you're stable left arm reaches forward like you're shaking my hand so arm balance here be sure to drop that right hip breathe engaging through that core pull that belly button away from your shirt and then crunch it in elbow to knee reach it long crunch in extend two more last one crunch squeeze extend it long bring that left hand down to the mat bend the right knee so that your top of your or the bottom of your foot is parallel to the ceiling make sure you're dropping that right hip and then we're just going to pulse it up to the sky for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one bring that knee underneath you but let it hover and just do some hip circles here so forward hip circles and then reverse it feels good after that that pulsing there all right bring it back under kick that right kick stand out inside of your left foot comes down to the mat plant the right hand left arm opens up and then reach forward forearm to ear making that big rainbow let that rainbow shine reach it back up open up gaze up left arm comes down to the mat lift that back foot left leg is lifted right arm reaches forward arm balance breathe and then crunch it in for four three two one reach right hand comes down bend the knee bottom of your foot parallel to the ceiling and pulse for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one bring it down circle the hips forward a few rounds and then reverse it all right bring it down nice job rock those hips side to side sink the hips back child's pose fingertips walk out Breathe here. And then look forward. You're going to move your body forward. Lift those heels toward your head. Point your toes. Open through the chest. Swan pose. So try to relax the shoulders. Gaze can be a little up. Bring those legs down to the mat. Feet down to the mat. Lower the chest down. And then press up to cobra sinking those hips into the mat gaze just a few inches in front of your mat the edge of your mat exhale lower inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift last time lower down press it up and back child's pose we're going to flow through this a few times so inhale exhale look forward rock forward swan pose so arching in the back legs come down 
Lower the chest down. Press the chest back up, cobra. Lower down. Got two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Again, keeping my gaze when you press up just a few inches in front of your mat. Lower down. Press it up and back, child's pose. Big breath in. Exhale, release. Look forward, rock forward, swan. Feet come down, lower down. Press it up, cobra. Lower down. Press up. Lower down. Last time, press it up, really sink those hips into the mat. Exhale, lower. Press it back, child's pose. Nice job. Breathe here. One more. All right, rock it forward, high plank. So come up on the balls of your feet, arms are right under your shoulders. High plank here. Squeezing those quads, really engaging through the core. And then you guys are gonna love this one. Tap your right knee down and bring it up. Left knee taps, bring it up. So just go right to left, tap right, Tap left, slow and controlled. Tap, tap. All right, we'll do one more. And then bring both knees up, and then both knees tap down. Bring them up, tap them down, bring them up. This time, tap them down, pull it up and back, down dog. That was fun, right? Don't worry, we get to do it again. All right, breathe here. And then rock forward, high plank. Lower it down, forearm plank. So keeping those hips lifted. Start to walk the toes in coming into dolphin pose. So maybe you just walk in a little, maybe you walk in a lot, but the weight should be in your forearms. So you don't, this shouldn't be painful in your shoulders. So weight should be in your forearms, really press them out away. Maybe you lift up on your tippy tippy toes. Breathe here. And then walk it back out, forearm plank. Lower the hips down, sphinx pose. So pull the chest open, elbows really press down and back towards your body. Gaze is out in front of you. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, lower down. Arms come out long behind you. Inhale, lift the chest. Inhale, lift the toes, locust pose. Squeezing those legs together. Crown your head is reaching long, so get the wrinkles out of the back of your neck, gaze is down at your mat. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, lower down. Plant those hands under your shoulders, tuck the toes, press it up high at plank. All right, we're doing those knee taps. Right knee taps, left knee taps, right knee, left knee strong through the core. You've got this guys, you can do it. If some negative thoughts are entering the mind, just change those thoughts, press them out, bring the ones you want to hear in. All right, both legs are straight here, plank, and then lower both knees, lift them up, lower, lift them up, lower, pull the hips up and back down, dog. You can pedal the feet out a little bit here if you'd like. Sorry, I didn't give you that option the first time around. Just hang out here for a minute, big inhale, Exhale, release. Rock it forward, high plank. Lower it down, forearm plank. Maybe lead with the opposite arm this time. And then start to walk those toes in, lift the butt up, coming into your dolphin. Coming up on those tippy, tippy toes. If you wanna lift one foot off the ground here, set it down, maybe lift the other. Set it down. Walk it back out, forearm plank. Lower the hips, rock that collarbone open wide. Send it through the arms, sphinx pose. Big inhale, lower down. Arms come out long, palm sphinx up. Inhale, lift everything off. Each inhale, lift a little higher. 
Exhale, hold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Plant those palms, press it up and back, child's pose. Ah, it feels good after, after those uh, back bends to go the opposite way. Breathe here. All right, come back up, tuck those toes, lift it up and back down, dog. Sink in, you can pedal the feet out, melt the chest toward the thighs. Let that head hang heavy. Inhale, rise up on the toes, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. One more time, halfway. Really pretend like I'm pulling your neck forward. So pull the crown of your head forward. Exhale, release, sit down. Maybe wrap your arms around, grab the backs of your ankles, pull yourself a little deeper. Hang out here. Inhale, ground down into those feet. Start to rise up, reach up high, pressing those hips forward. Bring the hands to the heart. Breathe. See where the thoughts have gone. Just notice them. Remember you have the power to change them, to push them away. Know that they do not become you. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back. Grab your opposite elbows here. Sorry that my head is cut off a little bit. Inhale, lift the chest. So you can grab those opposite elbows, kind of pull away from each other so that you're opening through the chest. So pull your elbows away from each other. Lifting through the chest. Release the hands, inhale, reach high. Exhale, open the arms, twist to the right. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, twist, left. Inhale, back to center. Hands come down to your hips. So a little something different here. Shift your weight into your left foot. And we're just gonna do some swings. So swing your right leg. Just let it go, forward and back, forward and back. Uh, do whatever feels good for you. Just shaking things out a little bit. And then on your next swing, when you feel ready, let that leg swing behind you. Coming into warrior three, hands come to heart center. So pressing that heel towards the back wall, making that giant T with your body. Breathe here. Try to drop that right hip. I know it wants to lift up. And then when you're ready, start to bring that right knee into your chest. Arms reach up high. Couple options here. So left hand comes to the outer edge of your right knee. Right arm reaches back. You can also reach the outer edge of your right foot and start to straighten your leg. So lifting through the crown of your head, pulling that belly button toward your spine. Maybe the gaze goes back to the right fingertips. So just do your version here. Maybe you have a big bend in your knee. Just do whatever feels right in your body. Maybe you wobble a little. All right, start to release. Bring that knee back into your chest. Arms reach up high. And then set that leg down behind you. Crescent lunge, arms reach up. So high on the ball of your back foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lean forward, arms come behind you. So power lunge. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms extend behind you, pressing those palms together or toward one another. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sink forward. Arms come behind you, power lunge. Last time, we'll just reach up here, crescent lunge. Look up, open up, warrior two. So pressing those feet down and away from each other. Gaze straight out that middle finger. Flip the front palm, reach forward. Reverse your warrior. 
Maybe do something different with that right arm. Maybe wrap it around for a half bind. Breathing into that side body. Reach in those fingertips. Inhale to center, warrior two. Bring that forearm down. Maybe your hand comes down to the ground, opening through the chest, twisting it open, reaching back with your right hand. Make sure that left knee is pressing open. You can even use your elbow of your left arm to press it open a little more. Inhale, rise up. We're gonna face this long end of your mat so that your toes are gonna point at a diagonal to the corners of your mat. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, sink down, goddess pose. So really tuck that tailbone under. And then we can go back and forth here. So right toes, come up on your right toes, lower down. Come up on your left toes, lower down. And you, you do what feels good for you. So maybe this is not a good option for you and that's fine. So just go back and forth, trying to keep that upper body upright. Tailbone is slightly tucked. Just have some fun with it. Back and forth. All right, this time bring both heels down, arms reach out. Right hand sweeps down and around, coming back to your crescent lunge. A little wobbly, it's all right. And then we're gonna lean forward, left hand comes down, coming into balancing half moon. So maybe you're a little wobbly today, that's all right. If you're near a wall, go ahead and use it. Maybe you've got a block or a book under that left hand. So a little challenge here, this is fun. So bend that top knee, reach back with your right hand. See if you can tr transition in to dancer pose. So left hand comes up, whoa, and I'm gonna fall today, that's all right. Coming into dancer, might take some practice. It's a little bit of a rocky transition, but it's fun. And we should be having some fun in yoga, right? All right, so lifting through the chest, pressing that back foot into your right hand. Inhale, reach up, bring that knee to your chest, set it down. Nice work, guys. Inhale, reach high. Hands come behind your back again. Grab opposite elbows. Maybe try to switch it the opposite way this time. All right, dropping those shoulders down your back, pulling your elbows away from one another. Lift open through the chest. Look up. Breathe. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, twist left. Open up the arms. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Bring those hands down to your hips. Shift the weight to your right foot. We're doing those fun leg swings with the left foot. So just forward and back. I'm kicking the plant. I'm going to move back. Let it swing. Just let it go. Try to feel relaxed. Let it go back and forth. And then when you're ready, just kick it up. Warrior three. Hands can come to the heart, or they can fly in front of you or behind you. Breathe. Feel steady and strong. Drop that left hip. You've got this. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bring that knee up to your chest. Arms reach high. Twist it to the left. So right hand comes to the outside of your right knee option to grab that outer edge of the right foot sorry the left foot start to straighten it out this leg does not get straight so one side is different than the other that's all right maybe the gaze goes back to the left fingertips just straighten through that standing leg crown of the head reaches high you've got it inhale back to center knee comes into the chest bend it behind you warrior or sorry crescent lunge follow that back foot arms reach up Lean forward, power lunge. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, lean, lunge. Inhale, crown of the head high. Exhale, crown of the head forward. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, hinge forward. This time, reach up, stay up. Look up, open it up, warrior two. Pressing that knee open, the front knee open. Hips are square to the side of your, long side of your mat. 
Flip the front palm, reach it forward, reverse your warrior. Again, maybe you wrap that left arm. Sinking lower into that front knee. Coming back to the breath. Inhale back to center, warrior two. Forearm down to your leg, or maybe those fingertips come down to the ground. Left arm reaches high. Using that elbow to press the knee gently open. Rotating that chest toward the sky, let it shine. On your next inhale, rise up. Turn those toes, coming into your straddle. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, goddess pose, sink it low. So try to keep your backs upright, tuck that tail. And then this time, let's bring our arms out, make a fist, and pretend like we're curling some weights here. So just bring your fists into your elbows, or sorry, into your shoulders. Tap them and extend. Tap, extend. My legs are starting to yell at me. How about you guys? All right. Got two more. All right, bring those arms out long, straighten through the legs, reach up. Arm swings down and around, coming into your crescent lunge, facing forward. And then lean forward. That right hand is going to come down to the mat, coming into your balancing half moon. So get steady. Flexing through that back foot. And then when you're ready, start to bend that leg if you want to try that dancer transition with me, which I just totally fell. No big deal. All right, once you've got that foot, rise up, reach up. Dancer pose. Woohoo! Good job, guys. So drop that left hip, reaching those fingertips long, opening through the chest, kicking that foot into your hand. Bring your knee into your chest, reach high, set it down. Nice job. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, bring your hands down to your low back, press those hips forward, elbows come toward one another, look up. Come back through center, inhale, reach it high. Exhale, drop it low. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant those hands, step it back, high plank. First chaturanga of the practice, I think. That's amazing, right? Shift forward. Lower down. Inhale to up. Dog or cobra. Send those hips nice and high. Down dog. Give you a few breaths here. Pedal it out. Inhale. Right heel lifts high to the sky. Bring your knee to your nose. We're going to hold here. So hold and then tap that right knee down to the mat. Lift it back up. Tap it down. Lift it up. One more time, tap and lift. Look in between your hands, set your foot there. Keep that back knee lifted for now. Left hand plants, right arm opens, twist. So lifting the back of that left knee up toward the sky, opening the chest. Breathe. Right hand comes to the inside of the right foot. Maybe walk it out a little bit. You can let that back knee come down Untuck the toes, lift through the chest. And then maybe you can stay here or you can start to bring that heel towards your butt, reach your right arm up and over, grabbing for that foot, pulling it in, feeling that nice deep stretch. I feel like I've got some hot yoga going on. It's nice, out on the porch. I miss being in the studio in that heat. All right, let it go, reach high. Hand comes down the inside of your right foot. If you want to sink into a deeper lizard here, go right ahead, you can come down onto your forearms. You can let your knee roll open. Breathe. All right, step it up. If you're down on your forearms, come up to your palms, tuck that back toe under. Right leg comes high, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, peel the hip open, 
Rotate the ankle. Let that left heel sink down toward the mat. Then straighten it out. Rock forward. High plank. You can keep that back leg lifted or set it down. Inhale, shift forward a little more. Exhale, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Hips high down dog. All right, left heel, let it go, let it fly high. Bring it into your nose. Tap that knee down if you want to. Lift it up. Tap, lift. Last time, tap, lift. Look between your hands, set the foot there. Right hand plants, left arm open, twist. Pressing that left foot down into the mat. Strong through that extended right leg. Left hand comes down the inside of your mat. Sorry, the inside of your left foot. Lower that right knee, untuck the toe. Rock that chest forward. Open it up. And then if you want to, start to bend the right leg. Left arm reaches up and over. Pulling it in, quad stretch. Maybe look over that left shoulder. Breathe in, breathe out. Release the foot, left hand comes on the inside of the left foot. You can open through the chest, you can lower down to the forearms, roll onto the outer edge of that left foot. I'm still doing a little bit with my the hip issue I was dealing with last week, although it is so much better. I've literally done nothing except for a little bit of yoga here and there, but it's hard for me to keep still, but it is helping. All right, rise back up to your palms if you're not there. Right leg tucks, left leg goes high, three-legged dog, peel the hip open, rotate the ankle. Straighten it out, shift forward into your plank. Leg can be lifted or lower it down. Rock forward, lower down, up dog or cobra. Hips high, down dog. Pedal it out here. And then drop to your knees, sink your hips back, child's pose. Walk those fingertips long. Maybe let your elbows come down to the mat. Bend the elbows, bring the hands, interlace behind your head. And really, if you press your elbows down into the mat and then pull them back towards your body, you're gonna feel a nice stretch in the back of your arms and your triceps. So keeping it active. All right, release your hands, lift the chest, coming into a seated position. I feel like my hair is crazy. All right, I'm gonna face you guys so you can see what I'm doing. First, go ahead and bring your knees together, feet are on the mat. Hands can be behind you. Right leg lifts up, cross it over, coming into a seated pigeon. So lots of options here. You can stay here. You can walk your hands and your feet toward one another lifting through the chest, maybe rotate the ankle around. Just do what feels good for you. You should be getting a nice stretch in the back of your right leg and a hip. Just keep lifting through the chest. All right, and then switch it out. So left ankle crosses over right knee. You can walk it in. Good soundtrack here. I don't know if you guys can hear the birds in the background, but nice, surrounded by nature. All right, bring those feet down. Now you're gonna open your legs up. So your legs are kind of open, knees are bent. Left hand is gonna be right behind your left hip. Right arm reaches up and across to the outside edge of your left foot. So this is gonna be a shoulder stretch here. So. Your hand is grabbing the outer edge of your left foot. You lean back, kind of make that cat back. 
and press your foot into your hand while at the same time your hand is kind of pulling back towards you and then gaze toward your right shoulder. So you should feel this in the back of your right shoulder. Remember, no pain. So if this hurts, back off a little bit. But you should feel a nice stretch back there. Just breathe into it. Again, you're pressing your foot into your hand at the same time pulling your hand back into your foot. All right, inhale, both arms reach high. Switch it out so right hand comes behind your right hip. Left arm reaches across to the outer edge of your left foot. Cat back, so curl in, tuck the chin, pressing that foot into the hand, and pulls back, look at that left shoulder, and you should feel it in the back of your shoulder. So breathing in. All right, release it, reach high. Bring those feet together, coming into a butterfly. You can grab your feet here. You can open up your, peel your feet open like a little book. Sit up nice and tall. And again, this is gonna look different, everybody. Your feet might be out high, your knees might be up. Just do whatever feels good for you. So reach up, reach up with the chest, and then you can fold in if you'd like to. Let your chin come down towards your chest. And just breathe, just be. Feeling all the goodness, all the hard work you just did. Washing over your body. All right, walk it back up, lifting through the chest. Bring those knees together. And come into a little boat here. We're not going to hold long. Just slowly lower yourself all the way down to your back. Arms reach up overhead, full body stretch. All right, then bring your feet to the mat, knees pointing up. Just move your lift up and move your body over to the left a little bit. So hips move over to the left. And then your left leg reaches up high, cross it over for eagle legs, and then let it fall over to the right side. Arms can be at a T or cactus arms, maybe your gaze goes over your left shoulder. I know for me, there was things that I was just raised with that were just sort of ingrained in my mind that I never really thought much about. And then as an adult and, you know, as I've matured and become aware of different, different things, I'm just able to recognize those thoughts when they come into my head and then tell them that's not who I am. I don't want to be that person and let them go away. And it's really powerful and it's really doable. It's something you can do if you have the conscious ability to catch those thoughts and then change them. After time, those thoughts don't come anymore. You can do this in so many, so many ways in your life. So just Maybe try it out a little bit and just know that you're not your thoughts. And just because we have thoughts that maybe are negative or bad, it doesn't make us a negative or bad person. Bring those knees up to the chest, uncross them, slide the hips over to the right side, right leg reaches high, cross it over, let them fall over. Look over your right shoulder, breathing in, breathing out. Relaxing a little deeper with each exhale. You know, we can't always control, you know, what we're born into or the life we have when we're younger, but as we age, we can really make a difference and change things. And we can teach our kids to change things. Just breathe, one more big inhale. Exhale, release. Bring those knees into your chest. Maybe give them a little circle, stir in the pot one direction. It's always good to stir the pot, right? Go ahead and go the other direction. And then bring those knees in, maybe open the knees, grab the outer edges of your feet, coming into happy baby. You know, this is my favorite last pose. 
If you've got another last pose you want to get in, go ahead and do that. Uncurl the tailbone so as much comes in contact with the ground as possible. When I've been recording my last videos at home or before, I'm always on carpet and so it's actually nice to be on a hard floor again. It feels good. I feel like my balance is maybe a little better, a little less challenging. All right, so just breathe. Bring those knees together, curl up into your tight little ball, giving yourself a gigantic hug for taking this time to work on you. Squeeze it in, release it all out, let it go. Coming into your final resting pose, checking in on those thoughts that are coming in and deciding if they're thoughts you want or thoughts you want to float away. Just let them go knowing that they are not you. You are not your thoughts and that you can control them. Enjoy your Shavasana. I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Begin to bring your awareness back to your body, to your breath. Maybe start by wiggling fingers and toes. You can rock your head side to side. Reach up overhead for a big stretch. And then make your way over to your favorite side, pausing for a moment. You can stay there. I'm gonna come up so I can read you a little something. So this quote from the Dalai Lama really spoke to me. No dark fate determines our future. We do. Each day and each moment, we are able to create and recreate our lives in the very quality of human life on our planet. This is the power we wield. What will you do with that power? Go ahead and make your way up to a seated position. Hands can be down at your sides. As we take this one final breath in together, reach up high, gathering up all that good energy we just created. Bring it down to heart center. I thank you so much for practicing with me today, for joining me in North Carolina. The light in me sees and respects the light in each of you. Namaste. 
Thank you guys so much. Awesome job today. Did great. I was about to fall asleep during Shavasana. There's a nice breeze coming through here. Felt great. I hope that you enjoyed it and you'll join me again soon. Namaste.